Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of One Spawn a Game, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of Night of Man, the battle for Earth's survival. We're playing Pig Games and Mark Walker. Um, so, two player uh, card based survival game. Um, getting good, getting mixed reviews, mostly good. Uh, so, I'm going to take it open up, take a look. Uh, it will play solo. Uh, you can play both sides yourself, or um, there is a solo expansion which does not come in the base game. It came as a Kickstarter uh, stretch goal. They currently sell all the Kickstarter stretch goals in a single pack. Uh, I managed to track down a copy of just the solo deck. So when I play it for review, I'll be reviewing that. It's simply a, a 27 or so card deck uh, and some solo rules for controlling the enemy. So I'm uh, gonna go rip the shrink off and we'll take a look at what's inside. All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to look, look inside what's actually in the box for the video game Crisis. Oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. We're doing Night of Man. Uh, here's what you get. A deck of cards. It's a card-driven game. You would expect to have a deck of cards. Look, this is a very big box as well. Show you here. So let's... Easily 12 inches, 12 by 9. This is not that big. This feels big. And it comes in at only 3 inches deep. Pretty heavy though. Alright, so the rule book. Ads. Yeah. Let's see the contents. A 28 page book. Um, scenario started on page 21, so we've got about 20 pages of rules. Starting on page 3, so 16, 17 pages. Full color, again, large print. Grab units, terms, etc., etc., etc. So, um, dark print on a watermarked uh, background. You can read it, get up close. My eyesight's not not that bad, but uh, this may cause some problems for people. Um, but it is what it is. This is your rule book. Like it or not. Old Han Solo with glowy eyes. No spoiler for uh, Force Awakens there. Uh, okay, so anyway, basic rules. Don't know what they mean. I've heard a little bit of it in the PDF form. So I'll do that. So, let's see what this area is here. Reminiscent of the earlier Mark Walker games, it just goes, you know, no frills, scenarios. Here's your scenario. Let's see, here's 18-1. Uh, Boom. Here's 18-2. So you got all the scenarios just kind of, kind of just flowing in together into one another. Still cool. So, anyway, that's the book. That's the logo. Along here, take cards back out. Reference card. Train charts. Modification is definitely much better quality than the reference chart that came with Old School Tactical. This was paper. Let's get two of those. Yeah. We've got a sequence of play sheets. Advertising. Okay, two so one for each of the one for two of the players. Anyway. All right, counters. These are huge. I heard they were huge, but I had not seen how huge. So that's just that's your move marker. And these are actually quarter. Yeah, 
the low range recorder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one and one and three eighths. Those are huge. Wow. Pretty cool. Yes. There's a Kenamano has had these backwards. Let's fix that. That's good. So we go from the massively large inch and, inch and uh, three eighths to dingy counters. Which I guess are modifications to units so they stack on the counters. I would guess. All right, so we've got civilians running around. Civilian counters with smoke. Second shoots. Next. Bouncer truck. Those things you can find. Stash. On the back of the stash. Once so you find the stash ones, and obviously you found it. Or you lucked out. Or lucked. Three. Punch out very easily. That's thickness. Left. Everybody's getting really good with their counters these days. It's a named characters here. Oh, Doc Solo is back. Some of these other people. Dragon. Double Dragon. Body Low. Alright, so it's third counter sheet. Fourth counter sheet. Yeah, this is like Talon, these huge counter sheets. With huge counters on the sheets. Yeah, let's count. Alright. Tops complete. So his inventory just got thrown in there. Panther. Let's see, health markers. Don't know. We'll learn. We'll read the rule book. Alright. So the game comes with four. Now, we have four mounted map boards. Let's see if we can show you one of these. Put the lid there. And of course, I can keep it outside. Okay. All right. Train serviceable. Definitely nothing, definitely a different artist than the old school tactical. Maybe they came, they came from fine big games, but there's still some realism to those and shadows, smoke, so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool. And I'm assuming they're geomorphic. So they're all connected together. All kinds of weird things. I wonder if the Homeowners Association approved that. The pool, a little quick stand or something. So various ditch TV. The squares are not themselves numbered, it's a grid one. You know, A through G A through ten. So cool. One number. Three. So this is three right there in the rock. Oh, they fell in the pool. Oh, that's nice. Pretty basic. But it's kind of fun comes from the game. You know, maybe kind of a semi urban area here. Kind of a Sim City esque. I just expect to see your old cars and buses driving down here in front of the parking lot. All right, I'm going to open up the card deck real quick. See what comes in there. I you enjoy a little bit of Wally while you wait. All right, so we're back with the cards now. I've unwrapped those. They're, uh, they're okay. I mean, they're, they're like a thick cardstock card. I mean, they're not very serviceable. You might want to sleeve them. I'm not really big into sleeving anything anymore. 
that you might want to do. So, uh, and we're just kind of looking at cards since we have no idea what they actually do. Uh, there's a lot of work on them. Reload and fire, single units. Marked fire may fire again at the original target. Add one accuracy. Wow, that's kind of cool. So, obviously, you have the hand of these and play these and, and do battle. But it's not really telling you too much, is it? Just a bunch of cards. So, anyway. Like I said, pretty decent quality. I will probably not. I'll probably not sleep them because again, I'm really not sleeping too many cards anymore. Uh, or just print, print and play and stuff. So, anyway. Uh, that is Night of Man from Flying Pig Games. Another cool one. And as soon as I get the uh, solo AI in, I'll uh, give this one a shot. Thanks for watching.